How you doing guys? Chicken Man back here. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a suppressor out of a muzzle brake. Now, as you can see here, I have the Daisy 80. This is a new one that I just got. It's like a $49 gun. You know what I mean? This is nothing heavy duty. It's just a Daisy 880. And I have bought this attachment here for a silencer. This one here, which it has one, two, three bolts that hold it on. So I put it on there and I put the muzzle brake on it. But it made the gun louder. So what I'm going to do now is make that muzzle brake, which is here. This is just a standard muzzle brake, as you can see, for, for an air gun. Or you can actually use it in the 22. But it screws right onto this. I'll leave the link in the description so where you can find these at. And uh, see, it screws right on. Boom, as you can see. So I'm going to show you how to make that into a suppressor, a short suppressor. You don't need nothing big for a Daisy 880. You just need something short. You know what I mean? Something that can muzzle most of the sound that comes out of that gun. I mean, so what I did is I took a ball pin, I disconnected the ball pin, made it into parts, and I took the tube out of the ball pin, and I took it and I shaved it down with a blade, with this blade. I shaved it down. So literally, this is what I did. Like, say this is the, the outer tube of the pen. What I did is I shaved it down, shaved it down to the size of the inside of the muzzle brake, which is that size right there. As you can see, you can see the blue tube in there. See it? It's a blue tube in there. I slid the blue tube after I shaved it down. I, I slid it in there and I made it fit in there nice and snug. And as you can see, look at the inside. You see it? It's perfectly centered right in the middle. You see it? And what you do is you put it in there and you make holes through it because both of these sides have holes that you can burn right through. You can just poke holes right through it, a bunch of little holes, big enough for a lot of air to escape from them. And you do it on both sides, okay? And you push it in there, and then what you do is you take cotton, which I have here, and you just take a piece of cotton like that, wad it up, put it, put it right inside that hole right there. That's gonna create your silencer gonna create your your damper something that's gonna damp the noise down because it's gonna absorb the shock wave from the pellet coming out and it's gonna reduce the sound at the same time basically what any standard suppressor does but this is homemade that's all so this is how you do it and you what you want to do is get all three lines up all three holes done like that then you take this piece of tape you bring it over and you tape that down so it doesn't come out. You tape it down just like that. Then you come back to the other side. You got that side filled up already. You come back to this side and check it, see if it needs filled up. Because usually when you fill it on from one side, they fill up on both sides. But see, you see how, how, how it didn't fill up all the way? Look. Now, you see, because you can see the tube now. That's the pen that's in there, the, the shell of the pen that I made all the holes in. The other side is already covered with the cotton, so I don't need the cotton the other side. But this side I do because you want the sound, sound suppression to be all the way around the muzzle brake. You know what I mean? So what you want to do is take another piece of cotton, and you're going to ball it up a little bit, and you're going to stick it in there. You know what I mean? You're going to stick it in there. Get it nice and tight in there, pressed, so it can uh, act as a suppressor. And then you just take your little scissors here. You're just gonna keep putting, pushing down in there until it gets in there nice and tight, and you get all the cotton in there. Boom. And whatever hairs are straggling, you can just pull them off. You know what I mean, it's gonna look like that. You want to get it to. Get all the cotton in there, all nice and tight, so it can look nice, you know I mean? nice and tight. See, you're gonna just redo that again until you got all three holes filled up. 
I do is just, just ball it up. And as you can see, the second one is almost filled. So what I do is I just stick it in there. Like so. Okay. And then I just push the rest in with the with the scissors and make it nice and tight. That's what I do. And mind you, I'm not gonna be using this silencer because they're illegal. One. Two, it's illegal to make them. I'm just doing this as an educational video. And three, I, I just don't recommend using this shit on, on, on a gun because especially outside, that outside is going to be really, really quiet regardless if it has this on it or not. It's just uh, so you know how to, if you ever have the feeling for one, you could just make it instead of buying it. I don't know how the company is going to take that, but... <laughs> Oh well, I gotta make money too. So I gotta make videos that are good. Take another piece, pull it up, get that third one done, put that in there, real nice and snug. And then take your scissors, boom, push it in there nice and tight. Get it nice and thick, and then if you need some more, just stick some more in there. But that's it. And then what you do is you're gonna tape this shit together because black tape is your best friend. Okay? Always remember that electrical tape is our best friend. It cures a lot of remedies. Well, a lot of needs let's just say that not remedies remedies is something you use to cure something else what am i talking about yeah it's too late at night i, I should be sleeping right now it's probably like 1 30 in the morning two o'clock but i was bored so that's what you want to do you want to cover that up like that you know what i mean that way the front is covered too you you want to do that you want to do it this way, this way. So what you do is you're going to cut another piece of tape. You're going to cut a couple more pieces, actually. And boom. Cut it there. Cut it there. And cut it there. And get yourself three pieces. So you can actually do the whole thing and get all the holes covered up. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna stretch this one. Oh wait, we're gonna use the longer one. We'll use this one. Put it right there like that. And these muscle brakes come with these grub holes, grub screws. I took them out. Don't want them flying out at me. What you're gonna do is stretch that tape over those grub holes so it can cover the grub holes like that. As you can see, cover them up. And it only has only two of them. And that's just to hold it onto your uh, to your barrel if you got a, a unshrouded barrel. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take another one and you're gonna find the corners that don't have tape. Like, let me see here. Okay, like you see, you see this line. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but you see how it has an open line right there. You want to put tape on it because air will escape out of there. So it, it should have a line on both sides. So what you want to do is cover that line on both sides. That way no air escapes from that edge. And you want to make that front end as thick as possible because that's going to help suppress it. That's it like that. There you go. And for extra, for extra, you know, extra um suppression or compression, if you may, if you will. I'm gonna take some tape and take it all the way around the muzzle brake. 
This is only to completely seal it from any air coming out of it. Okay. What you want to do is like this. I'm just going to wrap it. Because that's what's going to create your solid stuff. Now as you, now it's completely wrapped. As you can see. No air escaping out of nowhere. What you're going to do is you're going to take these scissors. Take a spare scissors and just poke a tiny little hole in the middle like that. That's going to allow the pellet to cut through that tape and make its own path. As you can see. Boom. That's it. And that's going to act like your, your front wall that keep that bounce, makes the air bounce backwards into the suppressor. And once it makes it stop there and go back, it goes up into the cotton and dissipates. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot this uh I'm gonna shoot this Daisy A80 without the school without the silencer so you can hear it. I'm gonna pump it ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now if you listen to this, you hear how loud that is? That's because of that attachment. It makes it louder. Now, we're going to put the suppressor in and see how much different the sound is. And it should work perfectly. It should, it should dampen all that sound. As you can see, look. You can see it goes all the way. It just, it just screws on, look. And it screws on all the way to the bottom. Boom. See? Now, now the suppressor is on, which is really a muzzle brake, and it's heavy as hell in the front now. It makes the gun really, really heavy in the front. That's why I don't think I'm going to use them because that one is made out of freaking steel. <laughs> and I already use a plastic one. Now listen to this. You hear that? That's a big difference to that. To the you know what I mean? And I'm gonna do it again so you can listen to it. Listen to the sound, listen. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now listen. Listen to this. That's the sound of it being suppressed because it's hitting that tape. It's hitting that tape in the front and it's sending all that big air pressure of air back into that cotton. And that cotton is absorbing it and expanding inside of there but it doesn't have a lot of room to expand so what it does is just it chambers it and it absorbs it in cotton's real soft it it, it doesn't have snap to it so it, it has to absorb whatever hits it and now i'm gonna do it again without the muscle brake on without the solid surface on now i'm gonna take this off you can see, let me take it off. And you're going to hear the difference. Now, remember that last sound that you heard? It was poof. Now, you're going to hear. Listen. Hear how loud that shit is? <laughs> it's super loud. For 880, it's super loud inside the house. But once you got this muzzle brake in there... It, it, it's, the trigger sounds louder, seriously. The trigger going off sounds louder than the gun. So, that is a lot louder right there than. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, listen. It's like. Less than a quarter, uh, I'm telling you, it's like less than half of what it was. And then when you put a pellet in it, it's even quieter because the pellet back, back shoots the air into that, that modified muzzle brake. It shoots it back into it and the cotton absorbs all the extra air and sound. You know what I mean? So, 
If you guys got any questions on how to make these, hit me down below in the comments and request any video type that you want. I use all different types of muzzle brake to make these for my air guns. And the only reason I do it is because I like to shoot one, one target and all the other targets not to go nowhere. I want them all to stay there at the same spot. If I shoot a squirrel, I want all the other six or 18 squirrels that are around that area at the same time not to get alarmed and not to go crazy, you know what I mean? Or disappear, you know? So that's just something that I've been messing with for a while with my air guns. And I wanted to share with you guys just in case you guys needed a little helping hand on dampening some sounds in your air guns. You do it with any type of muzzle brake, no matter what type it is, as long as you run a center tube through it and you make more holes in that center tube enough holes to let all the air out into the cotton and then what you do is you put the tube in stick your cotton in there put your tape on it seal it up real nice put it on and use it that's it and it works great it works great it dampens all most of the sound it, that thing when it, it, out of 100 percent it's probably like 20 percent now in sound so you know i can shoot i can shoot a rat in the backyard or out in the woods or anything, a squirrel, anything, rat, squirrel, rabbit, and, and all the other animals will just sit there. They won't run. You know what I mean? So it allows you to be more stealthy while you're hunting. And this gun, I, I really don't use this gun for hunting because um, I hunt squirrels with it. That's it. And, and sometimes like a rat or two in the backyard, you know, when they do come around, I take them out with that. But all my other air guns, the bigger ones, I don't suppress them because most of them came with suppressors and dampers on them and stuff like that. But like the Daisy 880, that's the best one. Daisy 880, uh, uh, Crossman 1077, you know what I mean? Any type of pump, pneumatic pump air guns, the ones that you got to pump up, you can do that for. You know, all you have to do is buy the barrel attachment for the, for the, uh, for the barrel and then just buy a, a, a muzzle brake that fits it and modify it that's it so all you need so you're gonna need a pen a muzzle brake and some cotton and tape that's it to make it so you know let me get off of here it's late i'm about to go to bed i gotta work tomorrow so if you got any questions leave them down in the comments i'll get to them as soon as possible and uh don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, I'm out.